So good morning students. Today we are going to see the unit 6 that is health and hygienic. Okay. So what is health? A good health is the key to happiness. A hygienic is the foundation of healthy living. So health refers to the state of complete emotional and physical well-being. Okay. So health care exists to help people maintain this optimal state of health. As of World Health Organization, that is uh, denoted as a WHO, they said health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Okay. So, hygienic, hygienic is a science of establishment and maintenance of health condition or practices of a cleanliness. Okay to conduce to health. For example, uh, brushing your teeth regularly. Hygienic is defined as a practice of keeping yourself and your surrounding clean in order to prevent illness or spread of diseases. Okay. So this is a component of food. Uh, suppose we are going to a shop that is provisional shop. So we will buy uh, the material called Suppose raw uh, rice that is for cooking 25 kg, wheat 5 kg, uh, green gram, uh, black gram, cooking oil, G. So these are the material we will buy. So what are the uh, chemical content in that particular food material? So the chemical consists of food which gives us energy, helps to build our body and protect us from diseases are called nutrients. Okay. The most important nutrients are carbohydrate, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals and water. Carbohydrates. What is carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are energy giving component of the food. Okay. Uh, this tablation gives what are the carbohydrates. We obtain uh, carbohydrates in the form of sugar uh, from the fibers. Okay. So form of uh, carbohydrates, sugar sources. Uh, is fruits, honey, uh, cane sugar, beetroot, that's all. Starch, rice, mice, potato, etc. Okay, dietary uh, fiber, whole grain, nuts, etc. Okay. So this is the nutrients. Uh, proteins is get from the nuts, grams, soya beans, chicken. Water, you are drinking water, you are getting uh, juice. Uh, vitamins, you are get from fruits, vegetables, grains, meats. Okay. Similarly, minerals. Minerals from uh, vegetables, fish, milk, egg. So, these are the minerals. What are the fat? Fat is get from fish, uh, egg, yal, milk, wheat, g. These are the fats. The carbohydrates, mice, nuts, fruits, rice, uh, lentils. So, this all combination will form the healthy nutrient. Okay. What is fat? So, fat is also an energy giving food and it provides more energy than carbohydrates. Okay. Some important resources of fats are butter, ghee, milk, cheese, paneer, nuts, meat, fish, egg, yellow, etc. So, these are the example given whole grains, uh, egg, yellow, that is yellow uh, in your egg, you know. So, then uh, red meat. So, protein. So, proteins are necessary for our uh, growth as well as for the regulatory via various body functions such as digestion. The sources of proteins are pulses, eggs, fish, milk, chicken, soya bean, nut, grams, etc. The proteins are bodybuilding foods. So, these are the uh, pulses, boiled egg, white. So, uh, the yellow is come in that fat. Okay, White is protein, soya beans. So, these are the examples for proteins. Then vitamins. Vitamins are required for carrying out various biochemical reactions in our body. So, fruits, vegetables, grains, meat, products are a good sources of vitamins. Vitamins are also called as protective food. Okay, There are uh, nearly six major pro vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, E and K. Vitamin B and C are uh, water soluble, vitamin A, D, E and K are fat soluble. Okay. So, these are the vitamins. Uh, in your book, it is in a horizontal position. So, it is 
uh, far visible, I make it in a uh, vertical position. Okay. So, this deficiency uh, diseases. Suppose we are taking, uh, we didn't take a vitamin A, what will be happened? Okay. So, vitamin in one column, sources in another column, what is the diseases or deficiency happened and what is the symptoms? Okay. For example, vitamin A, it will lead to, if we didn't take vitamin A, it will lead to night blindness. If we didn't take vitamin B, it will uh, lead to beriberi. Okay. That is nervousness, weakness. Vitamin C, uh, bleeding gums. Vitamin D, it will lead to weak and flexible bones. So, vitamin A uh, and vitamin K, these are the uh, sources which we didn't take. It will lead to this type of diseases. Okay. So, what is minerals? Minerals are required for growth as well as for the regulatory of normal body function. Green leafy vegetables like spinach, pulses, eggs, milk, fish, fruits are important sources of minerals. Okay. So, there is a tablation, minerals and their function. Calcium, st strong bones, uh, phosphorus, strong bones and teeth, iodine, uh, synthesis of thyroid hormone, uh, iron, formation of hemoglobin and brain development. So, these are the minerals. So, these minerals are available in this type of uh, elements, food elements like eggs, milk, fish. Okay. So, this is a fact file. We are uh, in this uh, thing, we will get the vitamin A, vitamin C, protein, calcium. Okay, this is a uh, moringa leaf that is a Okay, moringa leaves. It's a rich in vitamin A, C, pro potassium, calcium, iron. Okay, what is water? So, our body needs an aquatic supply of water in order to maintain good health. So, water is also an important. Uh, mineral or important food. Any human being should take minimum 8 tumblers, that is 2 liters of water every day. Okay. Students is very clear. So, what is the title? Health and nutrient. So, in this picture, you can see there are so many peoples and you can identify which people will be healthy. Okay. So, the alternative people, the happiest people will be always healthy. Okay. So, health is a state of complete physical and mental and social well-being and not merely absence of disease. Okay. So, eating a health diet keeps your physical and mental fit. When you are physically health, you feel confident. Okay. Unhealthy food choices lead to obesity and illness and prevent you from socializing with friends and families. Suppose you are not take healthy food, it will lead to a uh, social friendship less. Okay. You will apart from your uh, friends. So, balanced diet. So, a diet should be contain accurate amount of all the necessary nutrients required for healthy growth. So, you uh, suppose you don't uh, eat a particular vitamin alone. You have to eat all the vitamin, all the fruits. So, it will be a equal diet, balanced diet. Okay. So, this pyramid shows fat oil, sweet in the top, meat, egg, fish in the middle, fruits and vegetables, bread and rice and pasta. So, balanced diets is important for the following reason. It increases the capacity to work. It gives good physical and mental health. It increases the capacity of resist diseases. It helps in proper growth of a body. So, malnutrition. What will be uh, lead to a malnutrition? Suppose that is you doesn't have a proper nutrition, what will be happen? So, maltreat occurs when all the nutrients that the body needs are not obtained in the proper position. So, you, you uh, suppose you are taking vitamin C alone means it will lead to malnutrition. Okay. So, it is a balanced nutrition. So, malnutrition leads to deficiency diseases. The diseases are caused due to the lack of nutrient in the diet are called deficiency diseases. So, there are two children, uh, nearly three children. Uh, so, deficiency disease, it is uh, cause carcar, stunt growth, swelling of face, limbs and belly, diarrhea, marasmus, skinny appearance, slow body growth. Okay. The mineral deficiency diseases, calcium, rickets, phosphorus, iodine and iron. Okay. So, iron, anemia. So, that is uh, you will get these type of diseases when we are not taking the proper 
minerals okay physical exercise physical exercise is any bodily activity that enhances or maintain physical fitness and overall health and wellness playing games exercise dance active yoga sports etc so what is the importance it increase the growth and development strengthening muscles uh, cardio vascular system developing athletic skill weight loss maintain enjoyment everything okay rest so next is rest proper amount of rest is essential for a physical and mental health rest is an important as nutrition and physical for a growth you have to sleep well you have to take rest well as well as okay personal cleanliness hygienic is a set of practice performed to preserve health according to the world health organization uh, as i said uh, who hygienic refers to a condition and practice that help to maintain health and prevent the spread of diseases so these are the personal uh, hygienic and frequency of cleanliness okay high hygienic hair hygienic body hygienic uh, oral hygienic so these are the thing you recommend to frequent by hair hygienic you have to uh, weekly twice you have to get a proper hygienic body once or twice a day feet hygienic every day hand hygienic every time you okay cloth hygienic once or twice a day in addition to microbes when you neglect personal hygiene you are increase the risk of falling sick so what are the sickness so these are the thing diarrhea tooth decay athlete food that is madurai food or dandruff okay so most of the microbes belongs to four major groups bacteria virus protozoa fungi okay bacteria bacteria are very small prokaryotic microorganism bacterial cell do not have nucleus and do not usually have a membrane bound organelles bacteria cannot exist either independent organism or a protozoa they invade tissues as they produce pus or harmful waste so this is a cholera pneumonia tetanus tuberculosis and typhoid so these are the disease caused by bacteria okay main disease caused by bacteria mode of transmission is through water mostly it is through water okay or air borne droplets like that so virus virus is a infective agent that typically consist of nucleic acid molecule in a protein coat it replicates only inside the cell of other living organism virus can infect all types of life forms like plant animal microorganism they invade living normal cells and use their cell machinery or multiply they can kill damage or even change the cell and make you sickness so this is the uh, virus caused by virus common cold influenza uh, hepatitis polio small box chicken box and mesalus so students if you like this video uh, please click like button and subscribe my channel okay thank you very much